Hello and welcome to the latest installment of the Guns and Gear series. This is another piece of gear that I uh, picked up not that long ago for the use of my Ghost Recon loadout. Now, as some of you know, I uh, had a Splinter Cell loadout which I uploaded and there's a full video on that. And um, to transition that Splinter Cell loadout to a Ghost Recon loadout pretty much is this is the only piece that's needed. And I'm also going to get a Mitch 2000 helmet or um, the cool kind, whatever it's called. Probably flash a picture on the screen, and I will have a uh, Ghost Recon loadout, maybe some patches and some goggles too. Now, this is commonly referred to as the Ghost Recon mask. Um, it's actually not. Um, it's sold on eBike, and if you can find this on a Chinese retailer, definitely buy it from there instead because eBike overcharges you for it. They're available in black and tan, and I'm getting some of my information off the website right now. Evike named it as a matrix metal mesh lower mask, half mask with soft polymer covering, and they charge $25 for it. So it's rebranded to Matrix. The original company is TMC Tactical Gear. This is their uh, little logo which was attached to the mask. So Evike charges $25 for this. This in my opinion is not a $25 product. It is basically a mesh mask with the Ghost Recon thing glued on. See the cheap dot, uh, the cheap job they did gluing this on. It's all over the place. So I'm gonna get into the review. The whole Ghost Recon aspect of it is these four holes, the breathing holes, and in Ghost Recon there's only three, so you know. This isn't exactly Ghost Recon or the Chinese just got it wrong. There was a big sticker on the side that said Made in China. But it is overall a decent mask, I would say. I, Evike advertises it that it's a slim profile and you should be able to aim better, but you can't. I'll do a demonstration of why it's really hard to aim with this mask on. The, um, the black part that was glued on to the sides of the mesh mask is... They said it was a soft polymer, but I think it might be neo neoprene or whatever it's called, but yeah. It's actually pretty hard. You press on it, you can eventually feel that it's not a plastic, but it will definitely deflect BB hits, and so will this mesh. So this mesh is probably made out of steel because this magnet is sticking to it. So they did not cheap out on that at least. So they say this mask is very breathable, which is why they make mesh masks. No one would buy these if they weren't breathable. That is the whole point of a mesh mask. And um, it is, but the holes are a lot lower than they should be. Your mouth is actually right here. So you're actually breathing through this and hopefully air is getting in through here. But this is like pretty much on your chin almost. There's ventilation on the sides for your face and overall so long as your outdoors just does not get too hot or too hard to breathe in, it'll do just fine. Now the system for how this goes on your head is uh it's kinda confusing. There's a strap here which is elastic y, so it adjusts to uh, any size and it has velcro so you can take it all apart and then put it on while on your head and adjust it to fit you nicely. There's another one here which goes on the top of your head, sort of. And then this one is just a, a Velcro piece that pretty much just sticks to the sides of this of this other Velcro and it goes on the other side. And I'm pretty sure this goes on your helmet, inside your helmet, and it's basically on the very, very top of your head. And this keeps the mask from drooping down. Here's the uh, parts that hold on to the elastic it's held on with the metal and then these two things here I'm thinking they're glued on no yeah, this is pretty decent I'd trust it so uh yeah these aren't exactly gonna come flying off it is a Chinese product so it might but it looks otherwise trustworthy enough here's a look at the inside of the mask a lot of room for a nose a lot of room for your nose and plenty of room for your mouth it's a pretty comfortable mask the only flaw it has 
well, it's not really a flaw. The only problem that I hate it for is that you can't really aim. So you gotta get like a rail riser or a really tall optic, I guess. Okay, so this was my first face mask, but I'm gonna take this review in a different direction. I'm gonna put it on and then from there talk more about the mask. Alright, so um, I like to use a baklava with this thing, so I'm gonna wear a baklava. And um, I mostly do that because I don't like the way you could see skin through these holes. It looks pretty dumb. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to put it on. It's pretty simple stuff. You make sure all these elastic bands are well loosened up. And you just flip it on over your head. This one right here should go higher up like that. And then this one should be around here. I want to tighten it up. Alright, so it's pretty tight. It's actually a little too tight. But, uh, you know, the tighter the better since we were running around in airsoft and shit. And in comes this thing. I detached it for now. Alright. So that keeps the mask from coming down and stuff. You can see it probably looks pretty badass. And my voice probably sounds a little muffled right now. I got the baklava on and the mask. Um, some of you know I complained about the baklava hurting my nose. So at least with this thing I can pull down my nose and not look like a total noob. But uh, yeah, this is what the mask looks like. I'm going to get some um, goggles and I'm going to get a Mitch helmet. The Ghost Recon style, whatever it is. And um, I'm going to demonstrate how it's a pain in the ass to use your iron sights with this mask on. Alright, so um, when using this mask, it becomes a problem to use your iron sights. So, as a demonstration, I have an FN2000 here. And this is a very, very bulky gun, as most of you know. And it is a bullpup. So, um, as you can see, See this? If I really wanted to use my iron sets, I'd really have to do that. And then my iron sets are blurred. It's just, it's it's pretty much impossible to use your iron sets. But as I discovered after using this, most people just follow the stream of BBs when they're aiming, which is something I never wanted to do. I actually like using my sights. And uh, so you can't use iron sets with this. You basically have to get a rail riser and rise your optics up. So I'm going to try a different gun for uh, demonstration purposes. So I just dropped my favorite gun on the ground. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty upset about that. Yeah, so I just dropped my favorite gun on the ground and I'm been looking at it for a minute now, trying to find dents. Alright, but this is kind of like an M4. It looks very, very different. There's a full review on this and a full shooting review that you can check out if you think this thing's interesting. But for the sake of M4 platforms and sizing, this is sort of like an M4. I think it messed up my stock. Anyway, say this was an M4, I used to have an M4. I cannot aim down my sights worth of shit. It's pretty much... I can't do it. So, you can't aim with this mask on, which is disappointing. And, um, yeah. So, I'm indoors right now with the baklava on, and it's actually kind of hard to breathe. And, as you can tell, you can barely hear me. Baklava off, you should get better airflow into the mask. And, uh, yeah, my mouth is right here, I think, this is where my mouth is. And they put the ventilation down here, which is pretty stupid. But, uh, it's a decent mask. It definitely looks a lot cooler than a lot of the mesh masks I've seen. Personally, I don't understand why anyone would wear a mesh mask. It looks, it looks terrible. At least wear a baklava underneath. But that's just my opinion. Um, this was a Ghost Recon mask. And uh, I'll be doing my Ghost Recon loadout later.